हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ नंबर सिस्टम कन्वर्जन दैट इज ऑक्टल टू हेक्सा डेसिमल एंड हेक्सा डेसिमल टू ऑक्टल वी विल लर्न टूडे द टू डिफरेंट मैथड दैट यू कैन यूज फॉर द कन्वर्जन सो विल स्टार्ट विद द ऑक्टल टू हेक्सा डेसिमल आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिटर्न हेयर द कन्वर्जन मैथड देर आर टू कन्वर्जन मैथड दैट वी विल सी इन बोथ द कन्वर्जन दिस इज द मैथड नंबर वन एंड दिस इज द मैथड नंबर टू इन मैथड नंबर वन वी हैव Uh, we will be given with the octal number and we have to convert it first into the binary and then we have to convert it into the hexadecimal and in the method number 2 first we have to convert the octal into decimal and then the decimal into hexadecimal so these are the two different methods that you can use so we'll start with the example that is given 536 this is an octal number keep this in mind then when that whenever you are given with the octal number it should be from 0 to 7 other than 0 to 7 you will not see any digit into in the octal number and we are going to convert into hexadecimal and let's see how we can do that first we will choose the method number 1 in which we will convert octal into binary first and then binary into hexadecimal so how we can convert the octal into binary let's see we will take each digit of the uh, of the octal number and we'll do it do a repeated division by 2 as we are going to convert into binary binary is the base 2 number B base 2 number system so we will divide it by the base with the base 2 so first we will take 5 then we will take 3 and then we will take 6 and we will start the repeated division by using the 2 so it will be 2 2s are 4 remainder is 1 2 1s are 2 and remainder is 0 so this is the conversion of octal to binary uh, of the number of the octal number 5 now we will do the conversion of the num uh, of the number 3 so 2 1s are 2 and the remainder is 1 so This is another number conversion into the binary, and then we have the six. Two threes are six. Remainder is zero. Two ones are two, and the remainder is one. So this is another uh, conversion. So we have taken all the three digits of the octal number and convert them into the binary. And how we will record them? I have already told in your previous in the previous lectures as we have to record it like this in this way. So what we will get is the binary of five is one zero. One. The binary of three is so binary of three will be zero one one. Now why zero one one? Keep this in mind. Whenever you talk about the octals, you have to write it in in the combination of three bits. So we have to make it three bits by adding zero to the left, not on the right. As adding zero to the left, make it the same. Keep this in mind. Whenever you need to add the zero, you have to add it it to the left. Then the binary of Six will be one one zero. So we need not to add zero here because it's already three digits. Now what we have to do is we have to convert it into four digits because we are going to convert into hexa. Keep this in mind. In octal we consider the combination of three bits, and in hexadecimal we consider the combination of four bits. So in order to convert into hexadecimal, we need to combine all these bits together and then divide them into the groups of. Four. So let's do it as you can say that five thirty six octal number is equals to this uh, this binary number, and you can also write it as five thirty six eight is equals to one zero one zero one one. One one zero. So this is the binary equivalent of this octal number. Now we have to make the groups of four digits, and that grouping should start from the right. So one, two, three, four. This is one group. One, two, three, four. This is another group. Now the last one is left alone. So for that we have to add three zeros on the left of this one to make it four bits. So what we can do is we will add three zeros here. One, two, three. So what we will get is it will be equals to zero, 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 one. Then one. Then zero, one, zero, one. Then one 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 zero. Now after converting it into the binary, we have to convert into the hexadecimal by checking that these four digits are for what. So these four are for. It's obvious. It's for one. These four are for zero one zero one is for five. Now how I come to know that this is for five? You can con use a, a, a conversion method of. Con uh, you can use a conversion of binary to decimal. In order to get this five, then you you can easily understand how you will get five, and this is equals to the fourteen. And in hexadecimal, fourteen is equals to e. I have already told in your previous lecture in our previous lectures that in hexadecimal we have 
uh, 0 to 9 the same numbers as in case of decimal but after 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 we have a b c d e f so f is for 15 and e is for 14 so instead of writing 14 we will write e here so this is the hexadecimal equivalent of the number 536 so i'll write here 536 octal is equals to 1 5 E hexadecimal. So, this is the one method of converting the octal to hexadecimal. You can also convert octal to hexadecimal by using the method of converting first octal to decimal and then decimal to hexadecimal. That is also an easy method to use and that is also in my opinion is quicker. We will discuss it later but here first we will see how you can convert hexadecimal to octal. Hexadecimal to octal also use the same method in which you have to first convert hexa into binary and then binary into octal. So, we are given with the hexa 1, 5 and e. So, let us see how we can convert 1, 5 and e similarly as we have done in the octal to hexadecimal into binary and then what we will do let us see. So, the method is first we will do a repeated division of 1, 5 and e. Here I will, I, I will write 1 and here I will write 5 and here I will write e that is 14. So, we have to do the repeated division by 2. So, as we have 1 here, so for 1 the binary is as you know will simply be 0, 0, 0, 1. So, the difference between the octal to hexadecimal and hexadecimal to octal is when we do the conversion of the given number into the binary in hexadecimal we consider the four digit combination and in octal we consider the three digit combination as we have done in this case here we have made three digit combination while in case of hexadecimal to octal we have to make the four digits combination keep this in mind in hexadecimal we consider four digits and in octal we consider three digits so this is like this for five we will do two 2's are 4, 1, 2, 1's are 2 and 0. Now, it's 3 digit. We can make it 4 digit by adding 1 on the left. So, 0, 1, 0, 1. This will be an, our decimal, uh, this will be a binary equivalent of 5. Then in case of 14, what we will have 2, 7's are 14, 0, 2, 3's are 6, 1 and 2, 1's are 2, it's 1. So, what we will get is, we have to record it like this. So, the binary equivalent of 14 will be 1, 1, 1, 0. Now, what next is, we have to combine all these binary digits together. How? Let's write it. 15 e hexadecimal is equivalent to the binary that is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 and 1, 1, 1, 0. This is the binary equivalent of this hexadecimal number. Now, for converting this binary into octal, we have to make the combination of three digits. Now, it is exactly opposite to the exactly different from the hexadecimal. What we have done in hexadecimal conversion, we have made here the combination of four digits but in this case we will make the combination of three digits and we have to make the combination from right to left so these are three digits these are three digits these are three digits and these are three digits so we have to replace these three digits by the octal numbers so you must know how you have to convert the binary into octal in order to get this value so 15 e hexadecimal is equals to now, three zeros are obviously equal to zero. Now, one zero one is equals to five. Then, zero one one is equals to three. And one one zero is equals to six. So, how I come to know that these binary numbers are equal to uh, which uh, number of octal? This you can uh, uh, find by using the method of binary to octal conversion, where we usually do what we usually do. The uh, uh, first we we uh, write the locations of the number like 0, this is at 0, this is at 1, this is at 2 and then we start multiplying with the base of, that is 2 and we will get the numbers. So, for that you can refer to my lecture where I have done with the conversion of binary to octal. So, 0536 is basically the octal equivalent of the given hexadecimal number. So, this is how you can convert 15e hexadecimal number into 5, 3, 6, you can uh, uh, write 0 or you cannot, uh, it's up to you. So, 536 is octal. So, both these methods are opposite to each other, but they are easy. Keep this in mind. 
in hexadecimal to octal we have to make the combinations of first we have to make the combinations of four bits and then three bits and in octal to hexadecimal first we have to make the combination of three bits and then four four bits accordingly so this is all about how you can do the conversion now it's i have left it as an exercise for you how you can convert octal to hexa by using the decimal uh, by using the deci uh, via uh, via decimal number so do tell me in the comments whether you are able to convert or not or should i give you another lecture on that so that's all from today's lecture thank you